an unwelcome scene next to a sign welcoming visitors to Memphis. You gotta be kidding me. Well, that's crazy. Sunday afternoon, around 3.30, a terrifying scene here on Elvis Presley near East Brooks at the Table Restaurant. Witnesses say they saw an assault-style rifle. The gunfire echoed through the streets, the getaway car screeching as it sped off. <laughs> Memphis police say one person died and another was taken to the hospital in critical condition. A large crime scene that stretches all the way from Brooks to Gateway. Police have the entire area roped off as they search for evidence. Then, eight minutes later, police got another call, two and a half miles down Elvis Presley. <laughs> Officers say a 15-year-old selling water on the side of the road was shot, taken in a private vehicle to a hospital around the corner in critical condition. Police say the shootings are not connected, and both are ongoing investigations. It's too many crime scenes. It's too, it's too much killing going on. People need to sit back and think. You know? Frank Gotti, an activist working to stop the violence, says he's frustrated, angry to see both scenes. It don't make no sense. We all killing each other. In a minute, ain't, ain't nobody going to be around here. Back at the first scene, Witnesses there told us there's been a series of shootings. The violence, they say, seems never ending. According to the city's crime tracker, so far this year, in a one mile radius, there have been 60 aggravated assaults and four homicides reported. The stuff that's going on these days, people, they're not aware that's around us and people, just, they just think crazy and stuff. This father says he's trying to shield his family from the violence. Keep them out of this this environment because it's, it, it's just wild out here. On a Sunday afternoon, the fear and heartache stretched down a major thoroughfare in Memphis, a place where families, tourists, far too many, yet again, saw the violence in its aftermath. Jessica Gertler, WREG News Channel 3.